All right, let's talk about something that I know stresses a lot of us out, the water change. It should be a good thing for our tanks, right? But there's always that nagging fear of temperature shock. Well, today, we are going to completely eliminate that fear. We're gonna turn that dread into total confidence. Have you ever done the whole hand test where you kind of feel the tank water, then feel the bucket water and think, eh, feels about right? Yeah, we've all been there. But we're gonna put an end to that guesswork for good. This explainer is all about giving you a simple, stress-free system that keeps your fish safe and happy. You've gotta remember what feels like a tiny temperature difference to our big, warm-blooded bodies is like a polar plunge for a fish. It's a huge shock to their system. And it's not just uncomfortable for them, it's a massive biological stressor that can cause some serious long-term problems. So you might think it's just that initial jolt that's the problem, right? Well, it's actually much deeper than that. Getting the temperature wrong, even by just a few degrees, kicks off this hidden chain reaction of stress that can impact your fish long, long after the water change is finished. Now this is where it gets really interesting. On the left, you see the stuff that happens right away, the panic mode, clamped fins, darting around, it's obvious something's wrong. But it's the stuff on the right that's the real silent killer here. A weakened immune system means they can't fight off common diseases. It's that slow, creeping damage that we really want to avoid. So why isn't close enough good enough? Well, it all comes down to basic physics. Water is incredibly good at holding and transferring heat. So when you pour in that colder or warmer water, it's not like a gentle breeze. It's a full-body thermal shock that hits their sensitive gills and tissue almost instantly. They just aren't built for that. And this right here? This busts a huge myth in the hobby. We often think, oh, they're fish, they'll adapt. But for so many of our favorite species, that's just not true. Sudden changes are the enemy. The goal is always, always gradual and gentle. All right, enough with the doom and gloom. Let's talk solutions. Because honestly, with the right gear, this whole process becomes super simple and totally foolproof. Let's run through the essential toolkit. First things first, you need your target. A good, reliable digital thermometer that lives in your aquarium is non-negotiable. This is your single source of truth. No guessing, no hand test. This gives you the exact number you're aiming for. Next up is this little beauty. An infrared thermometer is fantastic for getting quick, instant readings of the water in your prep buckets. Just point and shoot. It means you can check your progress in seconds without sticking your hands or anything else in the clean water. Okay, now this tool, this is the absolute game changer. A small, simple, submersible heater. You just pop it into your bucket of new water and it gently and safely brings the temperature right up to where you need it. It gives you total control. And last but not least, where are you doing all this prep? A clean, dedicated bucket is a must. But you know what's even better? An insulated container, like a little cooler. It holds the temperature steady while you're working, especially if your house is a bit chilly. Okay, got your toolkit ready? Awesome. Now let's walk through the actual gentle blending method. This is the core technique that's going to make every single water change safe and worry-free from here on out. Now, before we go any further, burn this number into your brain. One degree Celsius. That's it. This is your golden rule. If the difference between your tank and your new water is one degree or less, you're good to add it. Slowly. Any more than that, and you absolutely have to use this method to match them up first. So here's how it works, step by step. First, fill your bucket and treat the water for chlorine. That's always step one. Then drop in your submersible heater. It helps to have a little pump or even just stir it occasionally to make sure the heat spreads evenly. Keep checking with your thermometer until you're within that magic one degree window. Then, and only then, you can slowly add it to the tank. Okay, I need everyone to listen very closely to this one. This is probably the biggest and most dangerous shortcut people take. Never add hot water straight from your tap to try and warm things up. Hot water pipes can leach heavy metals and, most importantly, it's not treated for chlorine. Always, always start with cool, treated water and heat it up safely. All right, so you've got the basics down pat. Now let's level up with some pro tips. What happens when things don't go exactly to plan? Let's cover a few common scenarios so you're always prepared. So what if you overshoot and your water gets a little too hot? Don't panic. Just unplug the heater and let it cool down on its own. Patience is key. And if it's too cold, well, that's what your trusty heater is for. Whatever you do, don't try to speed things up with boiling water or anything crazy. Slow and steady is the name of the game. 
And for all of you who really want to nail this, think about the bigger picture. In the winter, those insulated coolers are a lifesaver. Make sure your main tank heater is near the filter outflow for good circulation. And just be mindful of things like drafts or how the changing seasons affect your room temperature. A little planning goes a long way. Look, if all of this feels like a lot, just remember this. It all boils down to three simple words. Measure, match, and add slowly. That's it. Measure the tank, match the new water, and add it gently. If you can do that, you've totally got this. So there you have it, a foolproof, stress-free way to nail your water changes every time. But you know what? I bet you all have some awesome tricks up your sleeves too. What's your number one tip or tool that's made your life easier? Drop it in the comments below. Let's help each other out. Thanks for tuning in.